Just imagine being in that kind of an accident and then from underneath the vehicle that struck you to say, I forgive. Uh, I haven't even met them, but I forgive them for this. And that began the journey of recovery, the journey of healing, the journey to say, Lord, no matter what, if, if you don't heal me till I get to heaven, that's fine. I'm fine. I'm okay with that. I just want to live for you. That's the key. It's the key. It's the surrender to say, not my will, but your will be done. How can I glorify you in this? How can I see you in this? And you unlock his presence with that. So often we come to God with our complaint. And the Bible says, come to him with thanksgiving. Not for what's going wrong, but start thinking about all the things he's done. How he died for you, how he saved you, how he gave you breath. Start thinking about those things and praise him for that. And then praise him for what he's about to do. Because when we believe that we have already received, that's when we get the miracle. You find that in, in Mark chapter 11. Believe that you have already received and you will have it. So for healing, when did it happen? Well, it happened 2,000 years ago. The Bible says by his stripes we were healed. When were your sins forgiven? Well, 2,000 years ago on the cross. That's when he paid the price for them. But you receive it, and you receive it by faith. So if you have the faith to believe that your sins are forgiven, then you have all the faith you need for healing. Now, we're going to pray. Before we pray, we want to read some prayer requests that have come in. We have these um, prayers that, that have come in from, from our CBN partners, uh, and we have sent them out these um, Christmas ornaments, and we have them on the trees around campus here, and we're praying over them. Here's a couple that needs to be healed from COPD. Then someone asking for salvation for my family and loved ones. And then jobs for my husband and my daughter. And then Israel. Let's pray for Israel and the peace of Jerusalem. Oh, yeah. Well, here's someone saying, I would like prayer for health and safety for my wife and soon-to-be-born son. It's our first child. Someone else needs healing of arthritis in the knees, legs, and hands. Another request, pray for our family to be restored. And then a job for the father of four little girls with a brand new home. Mm -hmm. Let's pray and join with us. And this Christmas Eve, let's just believe God for miracles. He sent Jesus to live with us. And that same Emmanuel hasn't gone away. He's with us. When two or more are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So Terry and I are gathered. You're gathered with us in his name. And let's let Jesus take care of any need that you have. Let's pray. Lord, we lift up the needs of the audience. And for those who are asking for jobs, for those that are asking for healing, for those that are asking for salvation for their family, their loved ones. Lord, right now, let your presence be manifest in our midst. We're gathered together in your name. And we're asking that you, Emmanuel, would be present with us and would manifest your presence. For you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we speak over bodies that are in pain, that have infirmity. For this couple with COPD, we, we pray over them right now. Be healed in Jesus' name and be every bit whole. Be restored now. What you couldn't do before, do it now. Just as that man in the story got up and walked, get up and do what you couldn't do before and realize that his stripes have healed you. 
Terry, God's given you something. Hmm. There's someone you have really been struggling with, just feeling down. You almost feel like this dark cloud is coming upon you, and it's so not your style. You are usually upbeat and just a lot of things coming against you in the world. The Lord is restoring the joy of your salvation, the joy of the Lord to you today. Put your hands up and receive that and be filled with laughter and joy from Him. Now, Lord, we pray for those without jobs that are yes, looking Jesus. for employment, oh, looking God, for a way to provide for their families, to provide for their lives. And Lord, we speak over them that we've never seen the righteous go hungry. And so we ask for provision in their household. We ask for a Christmas miracle for them. And we ask for employment and job and advancement. Give them a hope and a future and release to them the creative ideas and the plan mm -hmm. and purpose and destiny that you have for them. Fill them to overflowing with this wisdom that they would know exactly what to do and where to go and how you will prosper them and give them favor. And Father, for those with physical needs who are in pain and suffering today, we just proclaim the healing power of Jesus Christ over their lives, that their bodies and their circumstances would align themselves with the perfect will of God and that they would know your touch today, Lord, in a miraculous, mighty, life-changing way. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. If you've been touched by God, we want to share in your good report. We want to let others know what God is doing in the world today. So call us, 1-800-759-0700.